All right, everybody ready? And with that, we'll uh, have Coach Conroy come to the podium. Want to just statement to start or questions? All right. Um, you know, the exciting time for us. It always is when you, when you start practice. But, uh, uh, you know, this group, we, we, there's some unique circumstances, I think, surrounding it. And, and uh, so I think it just adds the excitement. One, you know, we're, uh, we're fully, in, as far as the program goes, we're fully in, in the Hurt Center. Uh, we've got renovations going on in our game venue. Uh, we were able to take a trip to the Bahamas in the summer. Um, so I, I, our players and anybody, I think, around our program, we, uh, you know, we, we feel the commitment. And, uh, and, and that's exciting. And then when you talk about, you know, just personnel, uh, we have some familiar faces you know, returning. That, uh, and that's a, that's a luxury we, we, we really haven't had, um, you know, much the first couple of years. But on top of that, we have nine, nine guys, basically, that, we didn't, that weren't available to us for, for conference games uh, last January and February. You know, when, when, between the injuries, when you say Cherry and, and Timmons and Bruja. Yeah, and, and then you say the, uh, the red-shirted guys in Keenan and, and Birchfield, and then you had four freshmen. So nine faces along with some returning guys that uh, you're familiar with as far as Tarrant and Davis and Callahan, guys like that. So it, uh, it, it, it's exciting. And then, and, and then you add in just the NCAA legislation as far as the rules, being able to work with uh, uh, your players ahead of time. You know, we feel like we've been able to put a lot of things in and maybe be ahead uh, scheme-wise uh, where we would have been two, you know, the first two years. But the biggest part of that is the, the competition. Because we have the numbers, we have a little bit more depth, and most guys know what's already going on, uh, the practices just have just have an air about uh, 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 just about them that, uh, you know, every, every day the guys are, are strapping it up, and it's, uh, it's really meaningful. They're battling for minutes. They're battling for time. Uh, they're battling to see if they can't make us, you know, a stronger basketball program. So it's uh, it's been probably as enjoyable of a fall and first uh, start to practice as, as I've been around. Raise your hand if you have a question. I'll pass the microphone around. Coach, can you tell us exactly what's being done at Fogelman? Yeah, you know, um, I, I don't know uh, the extent of everything, and, and it's certainly going to be in phases. You know, I know that uh, – um, you know, it's going to have a, a new look. Uh, you know, I think the, 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 between the ceiling um, being being gone and going back to the original ceiling and, and, and new seating throughout. Um, and then, uh, you know, as we go through phases, I know there'll be some stuff done uh, with the lobby and the, and the look in general from, a, you know, the, the, the seats on the floor and the scores, tables, things like that. Well, I, I think there's a couple. Um, you know, I, I think I think first and foremost, uh, you know, this team and and, and it goes with uh, with experience, uh, increased uh, height, increased experience, um, uh, a toughness about them. Uh, being in this close, we we have to be a better rebounding team on both ends of the floor. You know, and and so and all those things are factors. You know, I think I think Josh Davis. Um, was asked to do an awful lot last year and did very well. Averaged almost a double double, uh, but he was kind of a lone ranger, you know, on, on the boards in some regards. Uh, Kendall Timmons, in my mind, is one of the better rebounding guards in the league, and we, and we lost him. Uh, Bruja was doing a nice job on the boards, and, and we lost him. Uh, other other guys, you know, stepped into those spots and got some experience, but now they need to, with a year under their belts of playing at this level. Um, you know they, they need to they need to, to step up in that regard, uh, and I think everybody. I think we've had a great summer of building up our bodies, uh, understanding how important rebounding is. But I, I would tell you that that would be probably the number one key on both ends of the floor. How healthy do you think you're going to be going into the season? Because obviously you had injury issues last year, and uh, also I'm going to ask you about the three road conference games. I mean, out of conference games, Georgia Tech. Nebraska and Alabama playing three teams from pretty good basketball conferences. What are your thoughts on how important those games will be? Well, I, I think both those things kind of go hand in hand. First of all, um, you know, how healthy are we going to be? You know, we're, we're, everybody that's taking the floor today is really at 100%. If you ever are that in college basketball, you know, there's always, always uh, you know, nicks and scrapes and things like that. But, uh, but we're, we're healthy. Now, 
can those bodies hold up over over the entire season? We think so, and, and, and we're certainly going to manage that uh, because they they were pretty serious injuries. We, you know, with Dabney with ACL in high school, and uh, Timmons with an Achilles, and Bruja with an ACL, and Cherry with an ACL. So those are things that uh, you know you still have to manage as you go through so that they can hold up. But I I think we will be, and I think with that increased depth, it gives us a much better chance. Uh, of, of withstanding whatever the season throws our way. We know there's going to be some adversity. We know, um, you know, there'll be, a, you know, missed time for one reason or another with, with different guys, but uh, we have increased depth. Hopefully that'll allow us to go on the road where, where it's so tough in college basketball. And part of the reason uh, the schedule's put to, together the way it is, I, I, I think all five road tests uh, for us in, 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 before we get into conference play uh, are going to be just that. They're going to they're be extreme tests. I think, you know, you, you add to the three you mentioned, and then you say go to the Barclays Center where we have some great fan support up in New York, uh, great venue, part of a triple header, play Hofstra uh, from a good league, and then you go out west to play San Diego from you know the same league that Gonzaga and, and uh, St. Mary's and BYU is in. So all five road tests, I think, will really stretch our team and, and, and tell us you know what we have before we head into league play. Coach, how, how realistic do you think is a winning record in the league? And I, I know... LSU and UNO are not on the schedule. Uh, do you think there's a possibility that either or both will return at some point? Yeah, uh, I'll start start with the schedule part of it. I would I would tell you that. Uh, um, you know, know both coaches well at both schools, and, and we've continued to talk. Um, you know, obviously, uh, UNO in, in their transitions, we have played them uh, since I've been here, you know, each of those years. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that that will probably continue in the future. And, and LSU the same way. Uh, you know, we've had conversations. Hopefully we can get a series started at some point. But, um, you know, we'll see when, when, it, when it works for both programs. But, uh, you know, I, I think those things would be good, good for our program. And, and certainly we look forward to those, those challenges. Um, the, uh, you know, what was the other, the other part? Record. Oh, winning record in the conference. <laughs> the, uh, you know, I, I think this team, you know, if we, if we can rebound the basketball like we talked about and, and find a way, I, I think there's going to be a lot of competitive close games. And we've got to step up at that point to the free throw line and knock down free throws. We've got to rebound the ball throughout the game. And then another big key to that is going to be, I think we have some depth, but who's going to step forward on a consistent basis? And, and between, you know, Ricky Tarrant, Josh Davis, Kendall Timmons, Jordan Callahan, Tom, Tomas Bruja, those type of guys, when we need a key basket, you know, who, are those guys going to step up and, and, and lead the way for us? And, um, you know, how we – that's one, one of our focuses here in the preseason, you know, is execution in special situations and time and score and, and that toughness to find a way to get over the hump and win. And, uh, you know, I think from that standpoint, it's going to be exciting to watch this team as we develop. And I'm, I think, uh, you know, prospects are good. As a follow-up, just how important is it in today's college game to have that finisher, a guy, you know, because you've been in a lot of games in the last four or five minutes and haven't been able to finish him. Is that guy currently on your roster right now? You know, I, I think we have several guys that can take on that role, and I think that's uh, that's one of the exciting things about coaching this team uh, when you go down there. And I think, I think you can point to moments uh, where all those guys have, have really stepped up in tough situations. You know, I don't think there's any doubt. If you watched uh, us last year, you said, you know, did Ricky step up and try to carry us at times? No, no, no doubt. And was he a marked man at times? When Bruja, when he was healthy, I thought we went to him down the stretch of the games we had him. And uh, Tim has done it throughout his career. So, you know, I, I think it's more a matter of those guys can do it. Um, can we find the right chemistry within our team to execute it, you know, in, in a game situation now with them all on the floor? Um, you know, and, and, and it, as its importance in college basketball, it is really important. You know, I, even even last year, I, last two years, I think we've been shorthanded at times, but we found a way to be competitive in games. We didn't turn that into to, to enough wins on a consistent basis in league play to be competitive necessarily in the league standings, but we were competitive in games. Well, that next step, that next step is a tough one. That's one that uh, you have to be really committed and and and, and tough minded and. Uh, we've talked to our guys a lot about it, and, and that's what we're that's what we're focusing on. Like, let's finish possessions with the rebounds. Let's finish games with that with that with that execution and that, and that tough basket.